Good evening and welcome to the programme on Tansley Paranormal. We're here tonight at Ashbourne Town Hall. Now, this place is really creepy. We've already had bangs and we're continuing to have weird noises throughout the building. Tonight we've got six cents with us and Xavier. We're going to do a great walk around and see what we can pull in. This place, believe it or not, is haunted by Bonnie Prince Charlie himself. Paranormal investigators who visit this building rarely go home disappointed. <laughs> I've got Josie from 1792, and Anya's got Josie, that could be a signature that. Have you got anything to do with Josie? What you've no, got? It's more witchcraft, that I think. But what's oh, weird yeah. is that they've both got the same name. Anya's never been here before. It's only a second time coming out with us ever. It's only the second time meeting me and all, which yeah, is quite. And then two's both got the same name written down on paper. Okay. So that's very peculiar now. It's interesting. Very good. So there you go. So they've both got the same name, which is, uh, I would say, it's unusual. Don't forget their eyes are closed. None of them knows what they're actually writing or what's been, they've been guided to write, and um, they both come up with the same name. So, food for thought there. So, guys, John's just seen a figure right where I am now, just in that little room there on the gallery. So I'm gonna keep quiet while they're doing their stuff down there, they're doing a live. Just see if I can spot anything. Keep, so keep your eyes open. And if you do spot out, put it in the comments. Pardon? Okay, to be fair. Right. To, to your left, yeah. About here. So hi, my name's Paul. Do you want to appear for me? You've just been seen by the gang down in the uh, hallway. And it would be great if you could appear up here. Could you tell me your name? So now we're looking at the very corner where the gang saw the apparition. 
If you do see anything, let me know in the comments, put a photo shot on. Let's have a look what you got. If it was just pushed off, no, not to break the wall. No, not like that. No, that must have been fucking motion in there. You get me? Where's the other piece? Well, there's the spring bit for it. Right, okay. Um, I didn't mean the ball, the cat ball on the floor, <laughs> has been actually thrown from the chair. Uh, it's completely broken. We've just tested a cat ball, thrown it onto the floor, and it hasn't broke. Now, that has been thrown from some height, so it's flown off the chair into the, into the air and landed on the ground fairly hard. And it's actually broke in two. I'm not saying they're, they're not unbreakable, they are, unbreak they are breakable, but they take some breaking. And that one is just cleaning too. Yeah. sat on the very chair where the cat where the actual cat ball flew off and hit the floor and broke into two pieces so they're going to try it again they're going to give a shout out and uh, see if that can happen again hopefully i'm here now i will put the camera on and we'll see what happens Come forward and show yourself. Still nothing happening.
guys. Now we're in the council chamber, so uh, I took you for a little walk around this a little bit early on the intro. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight, um, I'm going to do a little video of myself in here. The team are all upstairs, and uh, we're uh, hoping. Uh, well, I pop down here actually. So I've got the light on at the moment. I am going to turn that off. So I'll just tell you what I have set up. I set a REM pod up there, and. Uh, Hopefully we'll get something uh, set that off tonight in here. This is probably my favourite place in the whole building. And there's a cat ball there. And I put a cat ball there as well. Right, what we're going to do, guys, also, um, I'm going to also move into this room, um, which is right at the back of the hall. Now, I don't know whether there's a light, sw light switch here. Yeah, there is. Let's have a look at this. Okay, now this is one creepy room. This used to be a brothel, believe it or not. Uh, so what would have happened in this area? And there's a staircase there. Where I'm not sure what, where it leads, to be honest. So uh, I will have a look up there and see what, uh, see if it takes me back up to where the team are. Possibly does. Oh, there's another door over there. Let's have a look through uh, this door here. Oh, that's just a time. Okay. So there you go, guys. We've got the little room at the back of the council chambers. And this is the old brothel area, so I'm told. And then we can go back into this area. There we go. Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to turn the light out. The cat walls are set up. The red box set up. And turn out the lights. Now, absolutely pitch black, so I am going to put a little bit of light on, on the camera. Just give me a second there, while I... Uh... Okay. There we go. Set the camera up for you guys. Hello, my name's Paul. Now, I know there is activity in this room quite often. I'm all alone, all the team are upstairs having a break. Could you make a noise for me, please? Tell me that you're here. Footsteps and they're coming downstairs. That might be, yeah, that'd be a member of the team. I hope. Okay, we're going to put pull the um, the footsteps. That'd be one of the team above. I need you to make a noise in this room. Can you make a, a noise for me, please? We're in the council chamber, Ashbone Town Hall. Can you move something for me? Maybe move one of the curtains for me. Can you do that? in here. Okay, you can hear water, that's not in here.
Now this place has a long history. I'm looking for Thomas. You're the spirit what haunts this place, along with supposedly Bonnie Prince Charlie. Arrive there of your spirits in the room with me tonight. I'd be very grateful if you could move one of the cat balls on top of the table or the REM pod at the other end opposite me. Could you set that off please? If you walk close to it, it will pick you up and let me know you're here. The, the only light I've got in this room is my me, me, me light on my camera, um, which is quite sufficient. Um, if I turn the light out, it goes pitch black, so you're not going to see anything. But I could try it. I could try that, see what happens. And uh, I'll do it for about 30 seconds. Okay. Right, the light's out. Maybe you don't like lights, so it's nice and dark. I'd be grateful if you could let me know you're here. Give me a name. Can you tell me your name, please? What may convince me is if you move something or make a noise. We are down in the basement, it's very quiet down here. I'm not hearing anything. There's a light flash down there then. Could be wrong though. Could be my eyes playing trick tricks in the dark. Okay, final shout for you. Final shout. Can you let me know you're here, please? Give me some indication that this room is actually haunted. No kidding, guys. I've just gone shivering. Oh, he's in that corner there. Can you tell me if you if you're in this corner, please? There is a room behind here, and. Uh, I'm going to have a little walk in there. I'm not going to take any equipment in there at all. I'm going to have a little shout out in this back room. Right, okay. So here we are. Let's turn the light out. Let's go from the, go to the opposite side of the mirror. There you go. Okay, there's a light outside there. That leads directly to the outside, but I think it's fairly quiet out there tonight at the moment. So, hello. My name's Paul. 
what I'm here for tonight is, is to see spirits exist, exist, actually exist in the Ashbourne Town Hall. I hear a lot about this place, the spirits it holds and the activity what happens here. But what I'd like to see or hear is something for myself to prove that this place holds a spirit. Are you in this room with me tonight? Can you pull on a chair? Turn the light out, guys. Okay. Can you do me a favour? Can you walk across the window? Make yourself known, please. Heard a noise from the other room. Did it come from this room? Can you repeat after me? So I'll do another tap, what I want you to do is try and repeat it or add to it, give me a knock. Are you ready? Right. Slightly disappointed, to be fair. Um, I was given the chance to come down here while it was quiet. Um, I do, I can hear the voices a little bit. It's the team up, obviously upstairs. But they're not making much noise at all. So, um, nothing down here, guys. I'm going to leave the equipment set up actually in the other room. I'm going to have a walk up this staircase to see where that takes us. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. See, see what I can pull up. We, we haven't done the loft area yet, so I might have to walk up there and see if that's active. It, apparently, it is. But so is this down here. Mm -hmm. You do not need to be scared of us whatsoever, I promise okay, you. We're doing a live at the moment, and uh, we're in the loft. We've got two spirit talkers, the EMF. It is there and the K2 meters there as well. We've don't just had the phone there. move. We don't know whether it moved on its own or whether it slipped or it was it's actually. Say, it's uh, yeah. But nothing's so slipping it. now. Nothing's slipping now. So I'm gonna put the camera back on there. See if it falls See again. See if it falls again, yeah. Okay. Um What about a whistle? Can you replicate what I'm doing? This is funny. <laughs> No, please leave. No, please leave. No. No, we're not going anywhere. Until you let us know you're here. Can you make a tapping sound for us? Barry. You heard it, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, my ears are a lot older than your ears and they don't He's hear what you're saying. 
So, yeah, but the, the point is, I won't, might not hear, we're on a different was, frequency. Was it a voice that sounded like a grumbling? Yeah, like a grumbling. Yeah, like a groan. Yeah. Okay. Right. But yeah. my microphone would yeah, have picked that I up. I don't know if it was my stomach. No, because I haven't. Although I, think... I didn't feel anything. It was over this side, it was. Oh. It was literally an XPA. Okay. Yeah. So right. this camera should have been in here. <clears throat> I didn't hear it. Two. But you've got really powerful microphones on that. Yeah, so it may have, have had it, hopefully it may have picked it up, yeah. yeah. Could you repeat that noise for us, please? Could you knock my phone off the, uh, phone. Off the banister there, please? Could you do that? Take some photo shots, guys, if you see see anything. Kanja. Boot shots, guys, all of it. Come on, I'm getting bored now. Kanja. So the EMF's gone down now. It went up to 1.5. Oh, yeah. It's going up to 3.5 there. I think it's the phone that's next to it. Little sings. It's got no, it's in airplane mode. Right, it's got so. SIM card in it. It wouldn't be picking mine, would it? Too close, not close enough. Right, okay. So why would it suddenly shoot up then to 3.5 and shoot straight back down again? Could be a natural spike of, um, it could be anything, it could be our equipment, which I know shouldn't because it's too far away, because that would go off if anything. Oh. That's more sensitive. Yeah. Um, but like could be spirit, could be a natural surge of EMF, could be thunder, it could be anything. Yeah. Spirits, do me something more. Make a groaning noise again. Yeah, that was me. Oh, Sorry, that was know. me. Brown on yep. <laughs> yep. Do apologise. That was my chest. We have eyes on you. Hear the footsteps. Hope we want. That was the water. That's the boiler. Hundred percent. Bum on now. So fifty pence a piece. <laughs> For a five p. <laughs> <laughs> I end up looking like a fucking elephant's finger to me. <laughs> Try an EVP. We can do an EVP if you like to get mine out as well. Do you want yours out as well or just mine? Just get yours out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have got mine, but just see yours. Yeah, we've had some good success with mine, haven't we? Yeah. So. EVP guys, remember, I want your screenshots. Do you want to ask any questions or on the EVP? Thank you. No? Do you? I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, I always advise people, you ask spirits, whatever you, like let's say you walked in here and there was a guy just stood there, what would you say to him? What are you doing here? Yeah. How, how long you've been here? That, that you ask basically you ask a question of what you've already answered. Yeah. Do you want to have a go? Baby, okay. I'm really here. I'm not putting under pressure. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe later I'll put I'll put you under. I'll wait till that yeah, that's a boiler. They should be banned from running the taps while we're up here. Bastards. Or well, somebody's pulled a flush or something. It's a bit old fashioned. Pull the flush. You don't pull flushes these days, do they? I bet you used to have to go out on the backyard, didn't you? Oh, yes. Um, yeah. With newspaper. And the tin bath. Don't forget the tin bath. Yeah, newspaper. 
Yeah. Right. That's right. why we've all got piles at my age. <laughs> <laughs> you know where uh, it says, well, you, I'm just sticking where the sun don't shine. Yeah. I can't say it to you because you have got sun literally printed on your ass, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. If I'm <laughs> your ass with a newspaper on That's here. right, exactly. Rat torture. What was that? Rat torture. The rat torture. Don't like yeah. rats. No. Come on, I'm gonna. Could be topping up. It's obviously topping up some of the isn't it? It's quite warm in here, actually. It's warm in here. Yeah. Usually, walk in a place like this and it's freezing cold. Yeah. Agreed, mate. Yeah. Don't finish in a second. I'm just going to start here. We can ignore that background bit. Was it a pick it up? The little it? girl likes you. It's twice now it's mentioned about a little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so have you got a little girl in this room? And who's the person? Could you like to touch the person who you like? I'm very happy. I would turn all fucking water off at both of you. It made taps up here, isn't it? We're, we're trying to investigate. Give me something relevant. Say my name. Say John. Which one? Are you recording? Yes, we are. And I'd really appreciate if you could answer. Right. EVP, session one. Ashbourne Town Hall. Hello. We are in the attic. Can you tell me how many of us are here? Hello, my name's Paul. Can you tell me... I must go now. ...if you're male or female? Before, this was a town hall. Tell me what the original building was called. Can you tell me what century this place was built in, please? And my final question, is there anyone here that needs any help? How long have you been here? So what what that is is an EVP. John's just doing uh, well, done a recording. So we hopefully we you can pick voices children. up in between. It's going to pick the uh, spirit talker, of course, but um, we'll, we'll get to hear anything. What's it's dragged in? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. What the fuck? Do it again. That was a full voice. Say that again. Hello, we're off in the attic. Can you tell me how many of us are Cry. Hello, my support. I don't know what it says now. Can you tell me? I must go now. If you're male. Yeah. 
You must have had that. It's like, what well, the hell are you here? I'm going to enhance it in a few minutes. Yeah, I'll enhance that in a little bit, yeah? We'll have a look. All right, did you hear anything? I don't know. Did the young girls hear anything? No? I'm not no? sure. Not sure? I'll let you listen back to it in a few minutes. Well, John, we'll enhance it. We'll do that, actually. Uh, right, guys, what any we're going to do is we're going we'll, to have a little... Send it me and I'll put we're going to have a break. We're going to have a break, break and uh, so we are doing a live at the moment as well. For another instalment, because we're going to... Right, so guys, we've, re we've really been round all the building uh, tonight. Uh, what can I say about tonight? Well, up on the balcony up there, uh, the spirits have been seen, um, apparently, uh, in the left-hand corner. It is rather creepy up there. I haven't seen it, by the way, so uh, I don't know whether that's right or not. But um, according to people, they have seen something up there. Um, I've been down in the chambers uh, on my own. Um, the only thing I got there down there uh, was a knock. Um, I can't explain where that came from. It came from a corner behind me to my right shoulder. Uh, but I don't know what that was. Uh, I thought it could have been from the room behind it. And talking about the room behind it, I went in there. Um, didn't get anything in there, by the way. That's the old brothel area. So I walked up the stairs, got uh, to the top of the stairs. There's two little rooms up there. And I got a mist right in one of the doorways come up. Okay, I know me and John had uh, a little joke about it being a cataract. So I saw mist there, but I, and I do have a cataract in, in my left eye, but it wasn't that. I mean, I know what the cataract's viewing is like. I know when I get the cataract problem, I know what it is. It definitely was not that. And as I walked towards the doorway, it, it, it was there. And when I walked back again, it disappeared. I can't explain that. But apart from that, we've had a good night here. So from Ashbourne Town Hall, we'll see you soon. Have a good one.